Hello boys, Chuck Dadestus is here. After the multiple shit posts going on Reddit about the Dagger Mancer, I decided to actually make a build about it. If you don't know me by now, I don't know on what fucking planet you live, but either you love this meme shit or you hate it. And honestly, I can't really blame you for it. Or maybe you just hate the sound of my voice, or you just can't stand that I can do simple additions and you still can't after 20 years. Maybe you're a cat, I don't know man. Anyway, I kind of forgot where I was going with that. Oh right, this is a poison dagger tormentor. You know, the reason why a poison dagger necro doesn't really work is because they are shit at melee range. They have no HP, no way to boost their defense value or mitigate damage. And with that, all I could think of is why not turn that weakness into an actual strength? But how exactly do we do that? By turning those small flappy skin arms of yours into meat muscles, so get that strength up to 220 so you can equip steel carapace. Stop skipping leg day and get yourself enough dexterity for a maximum block chance. Then put everything else into vitality because listening to what I have to say is going to cause you some serious brain damage. For the skills you want 20 points into poison dagger and synergies. If it's not obvious why then you should probably take a break from this video. I'm waiting. 10 points into curse mastery so you can use dual curses. 20 points into lower resist because poison is still our main source of damage. Or is it? Finally place the remaining points to amplify damage. Why not Iron Maiden you ask? Because I fucking say so! And it's better! Trust me! For your gear you want Steel Shade for the skills, block chance, block rate. If you don't use Steel Shade for your helm you don't know what you are doing. Metal Grid Amulet for the torn damage, resistances and attack rating. Spy Torn Shield with 2 held runes if possible to increase the chance to block. It also reduces damage taken and torn at a whopping 2.5k damage. Trek Boots for hit recovery, strength, vitality and torn damage. One Raven Frost for the cannot be frozen, but if you can get another source, you could consider Dwarf Star or Bulkatos Unique Ring. Burden Go Bell for reduced damage and extra vitabil vitali vita. FUCK! Still Carapace Armor for the Torn effect. Two skills, enough defense to get hit between two trucks and not feel a damn thing, and some reduced damage to top it off. Don't talk about Bramble, if you don't know why, then equip it and go stand on the damn highway, see what happens. Please don't do that. One Carrion Ring, grant some extra range defense, run walk and torn damage. Venom Grip to boost poison damage, but honestly, I don't know why I'm not wearing the triangle gloves instead, it makes no fucking sense. Let me get on the highway real quick. Finally the weapon is Black Bog Dagger with 2 shale runes to reach a decent attack speed frame. I tried quite a few options here but you're going to have to trust me on this one because I'm running out of time. And the Merc, meh, it doesn't really matter, just make sure it lives on and has defiance to increase your defense, otherwise life ain't going your way. Oh, I almost forgot. I put it up on the cow clapometer at a fucking crushing average of 3 minutes and 10 seconds, which puts it at the actual rank 1 as the fastest melee build on pool noodle X chart. <laughs> I can't believe I actually did that shit.